Hi guys, um, it's been a while since I did a cage video, and since the last one, which I think a lot of you have seen, um, Thaddeus has gotten a new home, so I thought that I would take the time right now to show you the new Thaddeus Manor, we're calling it. It is a Guinea Habitat Plus by Midwest. Um, I will put a link to it in the description box. For those of you that are interested, I bought it on Amazon, um, and it is pretty dang cheap, and it works really well. So let me hear, let me show you exactly what it is. Um, oh, and please excuse a little bit of poopy wheel. It's like midnight here, and he's um, already been wheeling a bit tonight. But um, it's basically these little grids, kind of like a CNC cage, but... Um, a little different. Sorry, I'm feeling my iPads. This is a little weird. But they just snap together like this. Actually, they already come put together. You just gotta put the little bottom onto it, which is a canvas bottom. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for people that um, use shavings because since it's canvas, it will get uh, gross. But if you use liners, it's virtually perfect. Um, and it's held held together by these little Velcro strips here. Uh, that's by my hand. There we go. These little Velcro strips, and it's really easy to assemble. You just snap it all together, and there it goes. And then it has a lid for the top, but I leave um, this side open for the wheel because it's a little bit. The wheel is a little bit taller, and that's a Carolina Storm wheel. Um, it's a little bit taller than the uh, the lid, so I leave that off. If you have a hedgehog that climbs, that might be an issue. You might want to get. Um, I definitely recommend all of the Carolina Storm wheels. Um, but the bucket wheels, which Larry offers as well, are a little bit smaller than this wheel, so it, sh it would work better. Um, and then I leave the lid off of this side too because it's just easier for me to get him in and out every day without it on because I'm quite short and this is on a high table. Um, but yeah, if you have a hedgehog that climbs, that might be an issue, but Thaddeus has never climbed anything in his life, <laughs> so I don't worry too much about it. But um, okay, let's see. This is his wheel, obviously. And like I said, it's kind of dirty and gross right now. Even though I cleaned it today, he's had his little bit of goings on today already. Um, and this here is the door. It just opens like this. There's actually two doors on it, but the other one is on the opposite side near the wall, which is the only complaint I really have about this cage, because who needs a door against the wall? Um, there's his big hedgy plushie. Down here we have his food, which today is carrots and kibble. Um, he has two marble slabs, which I originally bought so that he could have um, a cool place to lay during the summer, but they've been in there about a month now, I guess, and he doesn't use them for laying on, so I put the bowls on that instead. Um, and he has a toilet paper tube back there. Sorry, this video is a little dark in here. Bye, Rossi. Bye! Sorry, that was my boyfriend's girlfriend. Uh, I mean, my brother's girlfriend. My boyfriend's girlfriend. <laughs> um... And then he has his pill bottle, his hangy toy, which you've seen in the old video, um, his tubes, and I change those tubes around every once in a while so that he gets a little um, variation in tube design. And then he's, as you can tell, he has uh, fleece liners for the bottom. You just really simple. You just measure the size of the cage, double it because you want to fold the fleece in half so it's double the thickness, and lay it in there. It's super, super easy. Um, and he has a ping pong ball in here somewhere. Oh, I think it's over here by his bowls. Yeah, it's hidden away over there. Um, and then he has two more hedgehog plushies in the corner there, which one of them he's kind of rolled around tonight. And then this is the ramp that comes with it. It comes with a, um, a ramp with a ramp cover, and it is a little slick. Um, but he doesn't seem to have too much trouble with it. Sometimes if he doesn't get enough momentum, He'll kind of slide around, but it's not enough to where it scares me that he's going to hurt himself. Um, I did put some shower stickers on there to make it more sticky, but <sighs> shower stickers are made to um, stick on non-porous surfaces, and the canvas is obviously porous, so the stickers didn't stick very well, and they just caught a lot of poo from his feet and dirt, and it was gross, so I took them off. Um... But I'm sure there's some other way that you could possibly make them more grippy if you wanted to. And then um, it has a divider here in the middle that the ramps are connected to. 
and um, you could always take the ramp out, the divider out completely if you didn't want to have it divided, but I kind of like to have the idea of him having a little extra stimulation there um, with the ramps. And then he has two more plushies. Can you tell that I like plushies? He doesn't really give a crap about them, but I think they're really cute. Um, the only time that he uh, pays attention to them is when he's biting them or drowning them in his water bowl. And then here's his igloo. And he's inside there, so let's see if I can lift this lid off without him going completely berserk for me waking him up. And he has a blankie in there. Whoop. See, there he is. He's mad. And he's in his cuddle cup. He has a cuddle cup to sleep in underneath his blankie. And I'll put the, um, they were, I bought the cuddle cups from an Etsy shop called Etsy Cho. I mean, um, Ellen Cho is her name. Sorry. And I'll put the link down there for those two because they're really nice and really well made. And then on top, I store his extra cuddle cup and his bags and blankies and extra fleece. And he has more fleece, too, that um, I use to put on the ground with his um, playpen at night because he gets what we call the hedgehog hoedown every night about 9 o'clock. And I put the fleece down with the playpen around it and he has fun mostly with his toilet paper tubes I'm sure if you guys watch my videos you've seen that action um, but yeah this is the new cage uh, Guinea Habitat Plus it is eight square feet long and it's pretty awesome I really really like it the only problems like I said are that it has a canvas bottom so if you don't use liners that would be an issue and um, since it has a canvas bottom, it tends to be, I mean, it's not solid on the bottom. So um, I actually have it on this table. It's pretty ghetto right now. I need to get some um, uh, plywood to put under there instead. But I have cardboard to kind of support it a little better underneath there. But yeah, this is Thaddeus's new house. We call it Thaddeus Manor, and he seems to really love it so far. Um, at first, he only thought the ramps were for sleeping under, but now he gets over them just fine, and he has a ball in here. So yeah, this has been Thaddeus' new cage video updated, so you guys can see it, and I hope you liked it. And I'm going to let him go to sleep now without me bugging him again, because he wants to sleep. I'll see you guys later. Bye.